We're gonna go ahead and try on some makeup today. Everything that I have, well, not everything. Most of the items that I have here are brand new, so I have not tried them yet. First, I have the LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. I love LYS because they all have like the triangle shape. It has a little applicator like this. I've already done like really good skincare, so honestly, I don't really need a whole lot. Oh God. Shedding some really thick tears. This feels like skincare. I haven't done like a full face of like full face of makeup in such a long time. So if I look clapped, that's why. So we are all primed. Now let's go ahead and get into foundation. I'm super excited about this one. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And this is in the shade Light Medium 10. Okay, Pat McGrath is a luxury, straight up luxury. And I got this off of Flip. And this is what the container is looking like. Very nice frosted glass. This stuff is very thin. I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more just to make sure I cover everything. This I'm gonna just put right on my sponge. This is a brandy sponge, by the way. That's why it looks so clean. Put more right here, a little bit right there, a little bit right there. This is a really good match for me. Melted right into my skin. I think that looks really good. It is not full coverage. Like I don't have that full, full coverage look, but it definitely got the job done. Now I probably won't be able to use this foundation once it hits summer again, and I hopefully go outside this time. But in the meantime, between time, winter time, I think that's a really good match. The skin is skinning. If you have like skin issues, you know, like hyperpigmentation, you definitely want to color correct. We're going to try a new concealer and this is the Kosas, which, which one is this? Kosas has a bunch of different types of stuff. Kosas Revealer, Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. And I got mine in the shade 5.50, medium with subtle olive undertones. This is what it looks like. Ooh, this might be too dark. It's definitely darker than the foundation. We will we'll try it out and we'll see. It blended out just fine. Kind of disappeared, not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to try this with different foundations to see if it just works better with a different foundation. It doesn't look bad, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. When you put the concealer on, you want it to brighten everything up. It didn't really brighten everything up, but I think that's just because this might be like a summer shade for me. I might have to go back and order another one that's lighter and see if that works a little bit better. I believe I got this in a birch box. And this is the Laritzi Cosmetics in Ohana. And this is a contour. It's very deep. We'll see, we'll try it. I mean, it doesn't go down as deep as I thought it would. It just like disappeared. What the hell? Bruh, this might work better as just like a bronzer instead of contour. So, I mean, it did a little something. The next thing that we're gonna put on is the blush, okay? Cause this is all liquid and creams. I'm gonna do all that first. And this is the P. Louise Cheek of It in the color Marmalade Melt. And we just got this in my massive P. Louise unboxing. And it's one of those little farty, <laughs> little farty squeezy things. Ooh, yes, that is so pretty. It's very subtle. Let's see if we can build it up a little bit more because I know once I put on the powder, it's gonna kind of disappear a little bit. And y'all know, I like to I like to be borderline jigsaw. I think it's pretty. For a highlighter, we're actually gonna use another P. Louise product. And this is again from the Cheek Event. It's a blending beam of shimmer. And this is in the color Showbiz Baby. I have such high hopes for this. You just put a little doot. Just a little bit right there. I might have put a little bit too much on. All right, we definitely have to use the sponge to kind of sheer that out just a bit. Okay, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. Um, It looks much better as like a swatch. We just have to see what it looks like once I put the powder down. For powder, I'm going into the Kosas Pillow Cloud Set. This stuff is so nice. So look at how that just made everything nice and matte. I look, well, look kind of orange now. I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and do the eyebrows. You guys have seen this before. This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. The little sample, little sample sample that I got. Don't know if I like her enough to 
buy more. This stuff is expensive. I need to get my eyebrows done. <laughs> so please ignore my overgrown, but still somehow very thin eyebrows. I feel like this eyebrow looks so jacked. Well, this one actually looks decent. Am I the only one who gets anxiety when you're like doing your eyebrows? I feel like I can never do them right. I don't wanna be eyebrow blind. I, I think that's as good as that's gonna get for right now. This is this one looks jacked. This one looks like a clown brow. This one looks fine. It is what it is. We're mainly focused on testing out the new makeup. Next, let's go ahead and get into these eyes. Now, this is what I'm super, super excited about. I have the Pat McGrath Mothership. Which one is this? I don't know if it says which mothership this is, but it's one of the motherships. Okay, absolutely gorgeous outer packaging. The inside packaging is kind of lackluster, but I think that's like the whole vibe is that it's supposed to be very sweet. Okay, it doesn't tell me which mothership this is. Oh wait, no, it's right here. The mothership volume. Six. I don't usually see Roman numerals that often, so I had to sit there and think about it for a second. Very, very sturdy, okay? Very sturdy, very thick, and these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Well, I really only have one option here for transition shade, and that is this color right here. I guess this is what they mean by like, you get what you pay for. <laughs> this Pat McGrath palette is $128. Granted, I did not pay $128. I actually didn't pay anything at all. Well, technically I did with money I earned on Flip, but I didn't like pay extra. I'm going to dip into this shade right here for my crease. For my lid, I am going to hop into this color right here because that just looks so freaking beautiful. Bruh, that is so beautiful. It's a purple without looking clown. And this is with a brush. Imagine what it would look like if I had to did it with my finger. I love that. That is so pretty. No wonder if people be paying extra for luxury. I get it now. I do want to deepen up that corner a little bit. So I am going to dip into this color very lightly. Stamp that right there, stamp that right there, and then just bring that in. And then without adding anything else to this brush, I'm just gonna kind of diffuse this a little bit. For underneath my eye, I'm going to go back into the shade right here. I definitely wanna get more of these Mothership palettes because they're just so freaking stunning. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to dip into this color right here. I might have to have Justin take me somewhere, okay? It is, what, like 10 in the morning? He gonna have to still take me somewhere, okay? We going out for breakfast. I think it looks really nice. And I'm not like a makeup artist, right? Y'all could probably clock that already. I am not a makeup artist, so I don't really know what I'm doing doing, but this looks really good. Now to set, we're gonna go ahead and use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. Really love this stuff. It's my favorite out of all the setting sprays I've used so far. I think I look cute, we'll see. We'll see when I put my glasses on and when I edit this video if I really look cute because I might look a hot mess and I just don't know it yet. We're gonna go ahead and line the eyes, put the eyes in line with Pat McGrath Labs. Of, I don't know what the special name is for this eyeliner, but it's, it's an eyeliner and it lines the eyes. Hopefully I don't jack this up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this KVD full sleeve mascara. This isn't my favorite mascara just because it's just so difficult to get off like when you're washing your face. This might be dried a little bit, a little bit dried out, I don't know. You know, I mean, it's doing a little something, something. I'm not gonna put another layer on simply because I'm not trying to clean all that off later. I'm just not. Let's move on to the lips. Okay, we gotta get the lips taken care of. I do have some crusty dusties, okay? I did do an exfoliator on the lips, but that's a process. You need to exfoliate several times before the crusties and the dusties truly get up out your way. Now, this is the Lamel Long Lasting Gel Lip Liner in the color, what color was this? The numbers on it are 413, okay? I forget what the actual color shade name was. I have used this before and it does put the lips in line, okay? 
and it goes on real easy, very smooth, very creamy. I would get this in a couple different more shades. For the lips, this is Seba or Seba. I don't know how to say that. What's up, beauty? This is what the color looks like. Absolutely stunning. I think it's really nice. I don't know if this lip necessarily goes with these eyes. I think I have a lip gloss from, a lip gloss that I got from an ice cream beauty bag that would really just go so beautifully with this eye look, but it doesn't look bad, okay? It does not look bad. It looks cute. I think it looks nice. Last thing, and this is from Lord & Berry, and this is Travel Black, and it is just a eyeliner. So I'm just gonna put this right here just to add a little bit more depth. Okay, we're not going for raccoon. This this felt fine. I didn't feel like it was stabbing my eye. You know how some pencils, they just feel like you're just ripping into your skin. This did not feel like this. It was nice and creamy. This is the final look. Honestly, I liked everything that I tried. The only thing that I'm worried about is that I might need to get a lighter concealer and maybe without the olive undertones, because I just, I don't think that works for me. I don't think this color is working for me. It might work in the summertime, but right now it's just, it's not. It just disappeared into the blue. But luckily, I don't have any like super dark circles under my eyes right now. So we were able to get away with it. This is the final look, and I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Mm -hmm.